We got a van! Yay! But uh, let's give you guys a quick tour. So it's blue! So we've had the van for a whopping three days so far, so we haven't really had a chance to do much to it, so right now all of our stuff is just kind of stuffed in here. Uh, but what's great is it fits the bikes, the camping gear, the fishing gear. Uh, eventually, I think we might do some sort of minimal build out, but this weekend out here on the Deschutes is gonna be just our first chance to see how it goes. Sorry, it's not one of those newfangled ones where you like wave your foot and it does it by magic. So right now we've got the mountain bikes, but it looks like we can probably stuff up to six bikes here. All right, so this is one of the most amazing things about this van is it's got so many cup holders. Actually, it's got 14 because the guy we bought it from made a point of pointing out every single cup holder in the van. A lot of you are wondering why we got the van in the first place. I mean, if you're a longtime follower, you know that we've been car free for, I mean, pretty much a decade. Well, I've been car free <laughs> for nine years. You've been car free for 17. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so owning a car is kind of a big step for us. Um, and I don't think, I think it's important to say that it's not gonna be a daily driver. We're not suddenly gonna become like car commuters or something right. like that. It's uh, it's our adventure. I feel like we've exhausted uh, the adventures we can do with just bikes and transit from Portland. We live in such a beautiful part of uh, the US but we actually don't get to explore very much because we are kind of limited in terms of our range. That's kind of the irony. We, we talk about this a lot, that when we were in Southern California, it was easy to take the train to get out of the city. Yeah. Uh, it's not so easy in Portland. So we got the van. So I've actually, I, I personally have not driven it yet. Because uh, when was the last time you drove anything, Russ? Because I haven't driven in a decade, so actually Laura's... The, or, or Longer. <laughs> Longer. 17 Longer. years. One day I'll drive it. Yes. One day you will, and the internet will be very, very scared. I might, I might practice going around the, <laughs> the camp loop here. What's nice about a minivan is that it does force you to still be, be minimal. So it's got a lot of what we like about bike touring. You do have to pick and choose, you know, the things that matter. Um, and don't get too carried away. Um, although obviously we can take <laughs> all the fly rods. Yeah. I envision us still being in a tent a lot of the time that we're camping, so. Yeah, that's our van. That's why we've got a van. It's not gonna change, I think, too much of the, our style of content on the website. It just means that we'll get to explore other places a lot more frequently, so. We can finally learn how to mountain bike. <laughs> there you go, yeah. This is like the most expensive <laughs> mountain bike rack ever, by the way. So that's it. Uh, just a quick update. So look for more goofy videos that may combine a little van lifing, but mostly still um, lots of biking. All right. Bye.